is it something like this retail for? Uh, I think they're gonna be between like 30 and 40 bucks. What's his name? Art. 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 So Art, Art is a big lap dog. He's actually up for adoption to a good home, right? Yeah. And you want a good home? And uh, he's the sweetest dog. What is going on Shrimp Keepers, this is Rob with FlipAquatics.com and today we are in Dallas, we just wrapped up Aquashella. Everyone I'm sure is exhausted, I know I'm exhausted. I'm actually here with Dradrin Aquatics. What's up? <laughs> AK Jason as I know him and uh, we're just going to go check out this store. Actually I do sell some shrimp to the store, I, I believe they advertise it, if not you'll never see this part of the video. Um, but yes, we're gonna go check them out, see what they got going on, check out their uh, shrimp section, and uh, and just talk with them. And I wanna I wanna see what they're doing. So let's go check it out. Okay. So what's your name and what do you do at the store? I'm Sherry, um, and I'm one of the owners. Um, I founded Odyssey Pets with Mike uh, Doan, who you talked to earlier. Yeah. I think. Um, and so I am like. Uh, I just make sure everything is happening uh, smoothly, you know. I'm, That's awesome. I'm here and there and everywhere. So. so how long have you been doing this for? Uh, we started Odyssey in 2006, uh, but before that I worked at a, uh, a competitor here locally, a uh -oh. fish store, for five years. Gotcha. And how did you get into the hobby? Getting that first job at a at that other fish store. So are you saying that you went into, you got that job not being in the hobby at all and it just kind of... No, they hired me because I was wearing short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are owning a pet store. Yeah, right? <laughs> what is it, like 20 years later? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. This is awesome. <laughs> and it, has it been a rewarding uh, experience, career? I, I love to create things and make things happen. So uh, I, I get to use creativity and some business skills. Um, so yeah, it's pretty fun. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for letting us come in and check out the store. Yeah, no problem. I brought them in the, today, this morning. So. And then we got your well, shrimp right here. Well, here's the shrimp. Now, is it okay if I tell people that yeah, these, please. these came from us? We'll, we'll tell customers right where they came from. Uh, Man, they look good. We had Sean Halen here last week or two yeah. weeks ago, and they got all excited, and they actually tagged y'all in their post. I know. I saw that. Because, yeah, so they got excited. We actually need to talk about ordering some more before you leave, probably. Okay. Absolutely. Or I can wait till later. No, that's fine. We and can talk got, about it. we uh, red crystals and some black crystals in that one. They look really good. And then this is the, these guys over here, this is the thing Brian and I have been really excited about too. Just did this new plant plants. tank. Yeah, the plants look awesome. So these are just simple 10 gallon tanks with sponge filters just for shrimp and small fish. Oh, nice. So, and they've only been going for months. Yeah, month, month and a half. And we've there. actually got a good amount of babies in the cherry and the orange shrimp tank. And then down on the end we'll do small fish. Yeah, I you see know, these little guys. Fish, stuff like like little that. nano stuff. Yeah. Um, what do you have in there right now? Uh, some chili reservoirs in there. Bumblebees. Um, we're out of Gardneri. The, uh, I moved the Gardneri to the oh, Okay. Yeah. Well, I wish I'd known that. Yeah. Uh, That's um, awesome. Your tanks, then, your tanks look really nice. Thank you. And then we keep, so <laughs> this deals, we, we order like 50 or 25 at a time. So we tend to keep them in a big tank. So they're a real popular fish around here. Now, uh, what do you what do you feed these guys? I know they're they're pretty picky. Um, we usually do like uh, freshly hatched brine shrimp, like uh, the frozen brine. Yeah. Um, they'll also do sometimes if we grind up some flakes after they've been here for a minute mm -hmm. or a little while, they'll actually eat that too. So once they get comfortable, they'll yeah. start eating that stuff. Once their color starts showing up too, where they get the red on the fin from being here a few days, they'll usually ready to eat whatever. Oh, honey flakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. How do you guys get up there to get the plants out? We have a ladder. Yeah, we have a ladder. Man, we get our arms wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, Did it my guys say that they. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We, we, we get oh, the water yeah. pits all the way down yeah. and, and drip it on the floor, and then we just get them off. <laughs> so, and then we've got fresh water on that half and salt water on this half. Okay, and what would you say? Are you mainly a salt water store? Or are you mainly a fresh water store? It's split pretty down the middle. I think if you were talking about actual tanks and stuff, it's more fresh. Yeah. Um, it's kind of what is bigger right now. Yeah. So especially with the bands and stuff in the salt water industry. Oh yeah, that's so that's putting that's, a it's, it's, it's throttling it down. Yeah. 
So, um, but yeah, I would say right now it's a little more fresh. Gotcha. How about this, real quick? Uh, why don't you guys? We'll start with you, Chase. Yeah. You say your name and how uh, how you got into doing what you're doing right now and what you do here at Odyssey Pets. I'm Chase Ringel. I've uh, been in the hobby for uh, 25 years. Wow. Uh, started out with a simple goldfish, um, and then it just didn't stop from there. Um, so I've been working with Odyssey for almost 12 years. Um, so I'm one of the managers here, um, and I pretty much help take care of the fish room. I do all the ordering for all the livestock here. Um, so just a big hobby of mine. So. So, so you have some pretty big shoes here. Yeah. <laughs> That's Tried awesome. Yeah. How, how rewarding is it working in, a, in an industry or a job? that you're actually passionate about. It's great, it's it's not a bad day. So, it's hard to have a bad day. If you get stressed out, you get to go look at fish and just relax. Like, yeah, you, you can sneak it. into the back room right. and look at them. And then we do, we have dogs in daycare, so if it's really bad, I just go back there and play with puppies. <laughs> it's not a hard day. That's awesome. So, yeah. And how about you, Brian? Uh, my name is Brian Turner. I've uh, been around fish since I was a kid. My mom uh, is one of those crazy animal people out in the woods. We grew up with a little bit of everything. Haven't had my own tank until about a year and a half ago when I started here. Now I have three. I've become obsessed with shrimp. I have a reef set up. Uh, yeah, so it uh, basically started off here as a dog trainer and then became a manager and then became obsessed with this half of the store. Nice. So, so starting off as a dog trainer, did you go to school for that? Uh, not school. I was uh, an apprentice trainer at a, another training company here locally, and I've done that off and on for probably five or six years. And so now I do it as an add-on because doing it full-time burned me out. I got sick of doing it all the time. Oh, yeah. No, so I now it, it's, I do my classes on the weekends, and I help customers with their problems, and the rest of the time I spend in here. Gotcha. And how long have you been at Odyssey Pets? Uh, about a year and a half. So we got our angels, freshwater, bamboo shrimp, uh, a couple of our monos in there. Oh, too. nice. Dude, that's a gorgeous bamboo shrimp. Yeah. So we get, we put some really high flow in there for those guys. There's actually some uh, blue stifled on gobies in there. Yeah, and, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, there it is. Uh, what, kick out gudging gobies. Oh, where'd you move that extraordinary stuff? Oh. Yeah. 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 That's a pretty fish. I love seeing the panda cories schooling around. It's awesome. How long have you guys been in this location? Uh, going on five years now. Wow. So is it starting to feel like home now? Yeah. Because it takes a little while to get time, settled in. Yeah. Which means it's time to it's move? It's time to update. So. <laughs> no, I don't want to move anymore. No, no more not, moving. Not, no. No I'm moving, just re redoing. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is awesome. Mike's a big live bear fan, so we always have a good amount of live berries in here. Yeah. So, what uh, what's your guys' favorite freshwater fish? That narrowed down to a single fish. Probably either celestial pearl danio or sparkling garami. Good choices. I'm mean, with celestial pearl danio, or I love panda cories. Panda cories? Panda cories, for some reason, they always get me. I like uh, pygmy cories and then the, then the herbrosis. We got both. Do you really? Yeah. There's a couple in there. They hide really well. Yeah, they're going to be tucked down in here. We even got a shrimp in here, a mono shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Our monos are in here, and then the stifidens are just one there, kind of tucked around in the back corner there. Yeah. 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 Look at them bamboo shrimp. Look at these guys. So the cool thing is they're actually breeding some shrimp here and doing some different projects, mixing some stuff, and, and this is uh, this is actually just in the back room. So we're we're behind all the display tanks right now. And uh, one thing I like is uh, you guys really do like it's clean back here. Like I've seen so many pet stores, and no offense to other pet stores, but you go behind the scenes and it's like just boxes and, and trash everywhere. Yeah, like ours, ours is and cluttered, is, but we try yeah. and keep it as clean as we can. No, it looks great. Yeah, only tell me a lot boxes on the floor is when we get fish shipments. Yeah, so then it's like and a little chaotic. And I throw stuff everywhere because I'm like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm all excited about what we got. So this down here is our Siswasser breeding refugium. Oh yeah, you guys need to get like that going like crazy. We're, oh, we've already started. Yeah. yeah. Cause that tank is this, so this stuff. this is out of my tank, so this is mine. When I took it home, I had a ball about that big. Yeah. And that was a few months ago. Yeah. So it, it loved that tank and it flourished out. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, lo I love that you guys are able to do this kind of stuff. Yeah. But I'm sure there's a, there's a lot of pet stores that they would just say, no, we're not doing that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and so it's it's Mike lets me play around with stuff a little bit. Here's the know, ancient so. fish that have been here forever. Okay. Which ones? These ones? Those yeah. guys. Some of those have been with us for ten plus years. And these are the new betas we got in that we haven't. Well, these are the ones you got from. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. There's some really nice ones in here. Now, how much does something like this retail for? Uh, I think they're gonna be between like thirty and forty bucks from us. Yeah. It just kind of depends. Yeah, they're so. beautiful. Look at these guys. Now, was this an end of the show special? Like, yeah. They didn't sell them, and they're like, "Okay, we'll take them all. How much?" This is a Dumbo female. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I'm trying to move into the modern century. It's hey, hard. it's worked. If it works, it works. Uh, oh, so you have like a whole like. Yeah. So Ooh. there's two tubs back there. So the one you're gonna walk. Yeah. That's real old school right there. Yeah. So that one runs the ones with all the sand in it, and then the other one ran the one with the gravel with the, that had the uh, bamboo shrimp and all that in it. That's awesome. Dude, I love yeah. this. So it's just, you know, DIY, you know, nothing special. Or and that, the big tube where you're pumping water back in? Yeah. It, what's the reason for that? So that's an ammonia tower, so that's just filled with bio balls. Oh. Area for bacteria just needed. That's awesome. So, and then I was just telling Mike's him, the man wherever yeah. he went. He's up there. Mike's the fish man. He's been doing this forever. So Mike doesn't hey, like the course. Mike doesn't like the camera. <laughs> he's old. He's old. <laughs> what part of that did you miss? <laughs> All of it. All of it. I don't know. No, that's awesome. Yeah, I I love that man. Yeah. Well, and also in here too with these guys. So we had a good question too about you know how we do it all. So all of these run on sponge filters too. So if we have an outbreak of something, we can actually literally put a heater in there and take them off the system. Oh, and just treat gotcha. That tank. So if something were to happen where it's just this tank instead of the whole Dude, tank. I love how you guys did that. Yeah. You put the cap on the end and drill yeah. a little hole in it. Just a little hole. Yep. That's phenomenal. That's yeah. Was, that, was that a mic idea? That's a mic thing. That's DIY, baby. That's DIY, DIY. baby. DIY. Yeah. Yeah, how sweet is that? And then then we you get the direction on it? Yeah. I can't take it. Okay. Please. I'll get you one. <laughs> oh my god. Those are some of, are you talking about the Plankos? Yeah, I went those to the, I went some to the, the big biggest females. ones I've ever seen. Those things are dying to lay. Those are huge. Look at this one right here. Like, she's just yeah. ready When I put to a go. cave in there, it's she's going to explode. Yeah. I thought they were gonna explode in the bag when I was trying to get them out. <laughs> did you did you order them as extra large? I actually, I ordered them as large. We Ooh, never know what those guys are gonna send us, man. Yeah. It's a you know a hope and a prayer. Oh yeah. We do have a couple of blue eyed long fins too. That's do crazy. Yeah, they're, they're down in here. There's one right here. Uh, anyone in particular? Yeah, that That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. I'm You're literally like, I can't take it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take I'm it anymore. <laughs> you got some adult standard bushies in here too. Yeah, I got that rock tucked around. I got plenty of brands. Uh, I just want the albinos. <laughs> well, I got a bunch of albinos too, but those big females. When you see them like that, you know. As soon as you put them with a male in a cave, they're going. It's yep. hard not to. Yeah. Oh, this. You got a towel? We're making the boss work here. This is not a good thing. <laughs> you should see me when I have to do this at my shop. The guys are like, just go, just go back to your office. <laughs> there we go. Everything I've learned is from Mike. Yep. Oh, that's not true. He's learned a lot on his own. Oh yeah. Once you get passionate about it. So Mike, do you still do a lot in the fish room, or are you mainly on the business side of it, or? No, I'm, I'm a working uh, owner. Yeah, we got four partners, so I don't have to do a lot on the business side. I do a lot on the working side. Gotcha. Yeah. Mike, so I do service a lot of the service too. stuff. A lot of the service yeah. stuff. Gotcha. You guys have four partners. Yeah. Yeah, it's a family operation. So when I say four partners, I mean her and her parents and me. So it's really. Okay. 
them against me. Yep. <laughs> And it's always three versus one. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. Who always wins? They do. They, they do. do. They do. <laughs> That's awesome. I get some sway, but not much. So how did you guys meet? You, you really, okay, so me and my wife both worked at Dallas North Aquarium. Oh, man. And, uh, yeah. And that's how that happened. And that's how it all yeah. happened. And I swore I would never open up another store. I had had a previous store a long time ago in McKinney, and it was a real. I was by myself. Yeah. Uh, and literally opened it with ten grand and went out of business right after 9/11. Wow. And about four, six months after 9/11, I had to shut down. I had to shutter it. Just nobody came in. So years later, ended up at Dallas North Aquarium. Met my wife. And we talked ourselves into doing it again. So yeah. Yeah, here we are. You love it? I do, I do. This has been the best rendition. Oh by yeah. Far. <laughs> Andrew, it seems like you have some awesome employees, which I am blessed with employees. Yeah. I, you know. That makes a world of difference. Oh yeah. Well you gotta trust them, you gotta let them do the thing. That's she, a that's a she, big girl. She's gorgeous, man. Like, you get babies, give me a call. I'll get them. I got a bunch now. I got more. Calico. That's a good question. Do you do you buy a lot from hobbyists? We do. We do. We buy a lot from hobbyists. Uh, we do a lot of mostly coral trades, things like that. But yeah, uh, anybody who's got something that we can sell, yeah, that will make sense. It. Absolutely. If it's hey. if it's good, we'll buy it. Jeez. That involves bagging fish. I hate bagging fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So yeah. Cheats is giving us the he's giving us the behind the scenes tour. Make it a little loud back here with the dogs barking. That's right. So. We can do voiceover. Yeah. So we're gonna make our water for our tanks. Uh, oh, we got wow. two RODI systems. Um, I think Carbon Blaster to go before. Uh, they just did a chlorine burn for us for the past month, and it's not gonna end until the end of this week. So it's very important to have before all your systems. Oh wow. Um, go through, um, and we actually so we have clean water that goes in here. Yeah. And then anything that doesn't go through the RO membranes actually goes through here and we use it in our washers and dryer or our washing machines. It's not bad water, but it's not great water. Yeah. So it's a way to recycle water. We try to be green here too, so it's a good yeah. way to do that and save some water. Um, but both of these can do uh, 700 gallons a day each. Uh, and they both have booster pumps going on them. So, so is this second system just this system taken apart? Right now they're kind of rigged together because this pump blew. Uh, so we're replacing this. So right now it goes to the carbon, the three sediment filters runs to the pump through the RO and then the DI membrane. Wow. And just went and ent enters in there. So now the the carbon is that the ammonia blaster? Yeah. Gotcha. Ammonia carbon and it also does the chlorine and chloramine. Yeah. So it does like three. Um, so we change this out about every four months or so. Do you really? You change yeah. it out that much? We go through a lot of water. Wow. We stop a lot of water here. Um, especially, they do a lot of chlorine and ammonia in our water, or a lot of ammonia, sorry. And now with the chlorine burn they've done, we, we're going to change it out. This is only, I think, two months old, so as soon as you're done with the burn, we've got to... Yeah, and that carbon's not cheap. No. no. No, it's not. And it's not fun to replace either. No, yeah, how do you replace it? Uh, you take it out and just turn the thing over and shake it out. Jeez. And then rinse it out a few times and then put it back together. That's crazy, because I just set up one of these systems. I yeah. did. Uh, I did this, I did a, I think it was a 50 inch one, yeah, or something like that, and yeah. then I did another, I did coconut carbon before it, mm -hmm. and so that way hopefully it will preserve the life of that right. carbon. Well we also, so, and then the water from this runs through the store, so we can top off our tanks in there and all that kind of stuff, so we actually don't get any water from this tank yeah. back here. So you, you never come back here, it's all auto, like you can just boom yeah. get it up there. we just come in here to turn the pumps on, that's it. And That's off. awesome, man. So everything else is just the recess pump. So once the pressure drops from certain level, they turn right on until the pressure builds up and then it shuts off. Wow, so you guys really have a, yeah. a good so, system. Yeah, and they go by our sink. We actually have another DI unit and that's also rigged to a coconut carbon for really pure water just because just we had it. So just because you had it, you're like we. It have was to at the it. old store, and that's how we made beta water. Gotcha. Um, and so, and also some drinking water for us. Um, yeah. But now we just use it for beta and folks to top off and stuff like that. 
him up and awesome, investigate man. people to look at him. He's a nice little fun guy. So he's not he's not for sale. No, he, he is. is. Is he? To the right person. Mike might take him though. Yeah. The more he sees him, the more he wants him. This is kind of our uh, our tank to have fun with. So we usually either keep mantises or we'll keep like a shrimp goby pair in here. Oh, just nice. Just have fun. I mean, we'll sell them eventually, but that's not what they're for. Yeah, it's just you know, for you guys. Just for us mm -hmm. to have some fun and and, and to watch know. him hunt a snail. Right. And it brings people in too. So has he eaten yet today? We can throw a little crab in there and see. Can we? Can we get yeah. Uh, a hermit? Do a hermit or something and see if he'll go for it. He plays with his food a lot. Does he? He waits till it moves and then he'll hit it and then he watches it and then he and then uh, if you feed him frozen shrimp, sometimes he'll lay on his back like an otter and just and eat, eat it. it. Yeah. And then he's got his little cave over here. He takes stuff too. Where right here is his cave. His little cave. Yeah. That's so cool. So do you know what do you normally feed me and a shrimp? Um, any kind of meaty food. So kind of once meaty they're food. you know used to being in captivity, they'll come up and take anything. Yeah. Um, we feed them with tweezers. He knows what those are. They'll oh really? Come up and grab it. Yeah. Um, you can get them to punch the tweezers sometimes too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, but anything meaty, and then when we want to have some fun, we'll throw in a snail or a hermit crab or something. So. It's just, They have never seen a mana shrimp eat before. Oh, he's looking. He's thinking about it. He knows something's up. They're really intelligent animals. Of course, now he turns around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's nervous. The crab doesn't care. No, he don't know what's going on. Um, he came in as a peacock, but we did some other research. Found out that he wasn't a true peacock. Yeah, there so, are brown ones out there. yeah. So he is pretty. Yeah, he's then, really pretty. Yeah, and then there's like zebra ones which are like black and white stripes. That's crazy, they move their eyes like They're in multiple directions. Yep. Are they pretty easy to keep? Mm -hmm. You just can't keep them with anything else. So they're just all by themselves? Yeah. Anything you put in is on the menu. So. Ooh, yeah. He like so that right actually, away. Yeah. You hear that little click? Yeah. That was him punching the tweezers. So do you feel it in no, the yeah. tweezer? You can feel the, feel the vibrations sure. in the tweezers. Oh yeah, he's definitely used he's, to eating like that. Yeah. You can no. tell you guys have been feeding him. <laughs> yeah, he saw that crab and he's like, oh. Yeah. I gotta hunt that? I don't know. I gotta break that shell yet. <laughs> he'll, he'll pop out later on here in a little bit and you can see him doing it. So he goes right into his cave and yep. starts eating it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I I, uh, I haven't told anyone this yet, but I'm gonna set up a saltwater tank. There you go. And I was gonna do a shrimp only tank, but now I'm thinking I need a uh, a mantis, a pet mantis shrimp. You do that. You can also cool. do pistols. That's, I, I run pistols in my salt at home. Pistols? Pistol yeah. shrimp. What are those? So they're um, a bunch of different species. I have the the randali, so the candy canes are about this big. Um, they have a, a large claw on one side that yeah. when they collapse it, the groove in the claw creates a cavitation bubble. It actually superheats the water to like almost 8,000 degrees, I think, for a flash second. What? It creates visible light and that creates a plasma shock wave that then stuns fish and shrimp and lets them to go hunt them. So they're Seriously? pistol shrimp because they, they shoot little shock waves off at them. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, so and the shrimp are actually blind, the ones that he has, so yeah. they live with the goby as a, uh, in a relationship with each other. So the shrimp goes through and builds caves and stuff for the goby to hide in. And uh, as they're building, the goby comes out and the shrimp will keep one of their little feelers on the goby's tail. And if the goby senses anything, they'll slap the tail, the shrimp goes in backwards, and then the goby goes in behind it. Oh, so those are the ones that pair up and yeah. they're pretty small? Yeah. And those pistol shrimp eat fish? They'll eat whatever they can, generally. They're not going to hunt anything too big. Bigger species, because there are some that get big, like yeah. the Caribbean species, they're aggressive as hell. No, they'll eat whatever they can. 
the, the smaller ones tend to just be kind of scavengers. So they'll, they'll hunt after small stuff. Uh, mine obliterated an emerald crab and chowed down on it. But you really? know, he went in the wrong hole. Uh, you know, that, that's yeah. his fault there. Yeah. Um, but they, they tend to be pretty passive overall. Gotcha. Um, they, they hide when things are around. Can you have so. multiple pairs in one tank? Um, you can if they let you. So I have two in mine. Um, they lived under separate rocks and then they moved in together into the same rock and now they've moved back out into separate rocks again. Gotcha. Um, there are people that run colonies. Sometimes they'll fight and sometimes they kind of merge in. So it's kind of just a crapshoot from my understanding. Gotcha. So if you have a big enough tank, it's possible. Oh yeah. You might lose a couple, but you know, you'll get more. Try it on air. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, let's see the rest oh, of this story. guy's cool. Yeah, it's a coral banded shrimp. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, there's such cool shrimp in, in saltwater tanks. So, with this giant hammer with these giant tentacles, I don't know what he's doing, but he's happy in here. Oh, yeah. So, and those are not easy to keep. Once they get settled in, they're not too bad. But really? I just never found one that has had a head like that or polyps that big and fat. What kind is it? Uh, it's just an Australian scrolling hammer. Gotcha. So, then we got a couple of scullies left. Now, how, how often do you get shipments of uh, new coral in? Uh, usually every other week or so. It just kind of depends on what's going on. And then yeah. our frags. So all of these we actually cut um, from a customer's tank from a big colony. She had a couple of the heads that, or a couple of pieces that were like 30 or 40 heads big. Yeah. Um, that we sold like the day after we got them. And then one of them we just cut up and made a bunch of frags out of. Dang. Uh, and that was only half of what she had in her tank. Gotcha, that's her crazy. Tank is just covered with them. So how about this, what's going on back here? Are those so, polyps? Those are, growing, those are zoos. Uh, we had a, a, a zoo rock back there and they actually grew onto the glass. Oh my god. So we, so, do, we are do you grow some stuff here too. Are you able to get those off? Or no? We're going to put rocks in there and just let them grow on the rocks and just frag them from there. So that's the best way to yeah. do it. Gotcha. So, and kind of like the these little uh, polyps we have over here actually were brought in by a customer. Started out these with, ones right here? Yeah, started out with three of them uh, about a month ago. Yeah. Um, so screwed them on that disc. We're just going to let those grow and then we'll eventually just start cutting them up and fragging them here. That's awesome. So, so is all this stuff for sale or not all of it? Everything but that right now. Really? That, that one we're not selling but everything else we've got in here is for sale. That's your personal favorite or? That's a lot of our personal favorite. Yeah. Oh, my personal favorite? Yeah. Um, either the rainbow brain that's mad because he ate yesterday and probably pooped today. This, or, guy, this guy right here? Uh, no, this one on the right side. Oh. Yeah. Or the scully, the red and blue, the scarlet, this one. Gotcha. So. Yeah, it's got some really good colors yeah. to it. Awesome. So you guys got a lot of stuff here. Yeah. If I had my lights bluer, they'd be just popping. Oh, yeah. I should have took some of those aqua shell glasses. I've got we some, and I can turn them on if you want. Do you have them? Yeah, I can have them in my car. Yeah, grab them. Well, yeah. no, no, it's all right. My car's right out there. All right, then grab them. Okay. I, won't, I won't argue with you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll, I'll turn the light. Okay, so here's, here's the tank, and then with the glasses. Like, it just takes away all the blue light. Now you can see the color. It'll look better in a second. Oh, when you adjust the lighting a little mm -hmm. bit? Yeah, it's gonna kick the heavy blues on. So the heavy blues really brings out the color? The blues mm -hmm. will bring out the neons and everything. And then that's why you get the lenses to take the blue out. Oh man, yeah, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy how like there's special lenses to take blue out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it just makes the colors pop. When even lights will change what corals will look like and be happy with and do. Yeah, like in the wild, most of these just look bland. They're, and they're yeah, they're brown or green, nothing special. You put them under these kind of lighting and they just pop. That's awesome. I'm sitting here editing and I'm getting ready to finish up the Odyssey Pets video and I realized I didn't do. A, a ending part of the video and so uh, so I figured I would do that now so it was fun going back rehashing some of the memories of going and seeing Odyssey Pets 
Uh, they're just really great people there. I still sell shrimp to them. So if you guys ever want flip aquatic shrimp and you're in the Texas Dallas area, uh, definitely check out Odyssey Pets. They're really, really awesome people. Um, I know that you saw that through watching the video. And so definitely support them if you can and uh, go check them out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed filming it and rewatching it. So uh, it's just always good to see good people in the hobby succeed. So if you guys need anything, contact them. Definitely get a hold of them if you're in the Dallas area. And you guys make it a great Thursday. And I will talk to you guys soon. God bless.